Gen 9 is officially on the horizon. The trailer released on Pokemon Day gave us a brief look at the new games Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, coming out later this year. And with it, three new starter Pokemon, Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxly. With these new starter Pokemon comes new possible evolutions. So let's try to predict what these starters will evolve into and what their final type combos will be. Hey everyone, Brandon here. So let me start this off by saying this is all speculative. There are no cold hard facts about any of these starters or their evolutions. This is just for a bit of fun because speculation about what we might see in these new games is half the fun of this time period between the announcement of the games and their official release. Before we get into my predictions, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep up to date with future videos. We will be doing some more speculation about what we might see in these new games, so make sure you don't miss out. So as it has become pretty well known by now, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are most likely based on Spain and Portugal. So my predictions for these three are going to be with that information in mind. We don't know much outside of the location of these games and what these three starters look like currently, so this is all based on my own thoughts and observations. To start us off is our new grass starter, Sprigatito. I'm fairly certain this little guy is supposed to be based on the Iberian Lynx, which can be found across the Iberian Peninsula, aka Spain and Portugal. Grass starters are always based on some sort of extinct species, so if I had to guess which one Sprigatito is based on, I would probably say either the Smilodon, aka the Sabertooth Tiger, or Cave Lions. But based on these little tifers being shown in the design, I'm leaning more towards Smilodon. For its final typing, a lot of people are saying Grass Fairy due to the coloration of its eyes and its nose, but to me that isn't strong enough evidence for its typing, because the coloration of a starter can and has changed as it evolves. I won't exactly rule that out as an option, but I'm thinking it is Grass Steel or Grass Dark and here is why. For one, those are some really cool new type combos I think would be really awesome for a Grass type starter. And for two, I think Sprigatito might be inspired by the Puss in Boots. While this is an Italian fairy tale, starter designs have been inspired from other cultures in the past. And the modern rendition of Puss in Boots from Shrek has been portrayed by Spanish actor Antonio Banderas. A loose connection I know, but it has caused many to associate Puss in Boots with that Spanish influence. Shrek in a Pokemon video. Who saw that coming? Also, in Sprigatito's dex entry it says it's capricious and attention seeking. While that can describe cats in general, I think there's a case for Puss in Boots here, who is a pretty fickle character itself. Puss in Boots uses trickery, deceit, and its sword to gain power and wealth. Two things that bring what? Attention. I could see Grass Dark because of the whole trickery and deceit aspect, but I could also see Grass Steel with its tail being used as some sort of blade. For a visual example of this, here are two possible final evolutions made by Kai Fakemon SR and Bromo Jumbo. One for the inevitable bipedal version, and the other for those of us who want this thing to stay quadrupedal, myself included. Kai's version has a more specific focus on the Puss in Boots concept, while Bromo's has the additional inspiration of Bandidos, specifically one famously called Bandido first, Viriathus, who was a successful leader who opposed the Roman conquest in Iberia. Also, Bromo named his Desperado, which is just such a genius name. Next is the bestest boy, Fuecoco. Literally in every poll I see this guy in, he's the front runner. So, there's been a lot of talk about if this guy breaks the chain of fire starters being based on animals from the Chinese Zodiac. I personally think that it doesn't. Fuecoco is a crocodile, which is a reptile, so I believe it could reasonably evolve into more of a serpent. I mean, weirder things have happened in Pokemon. Fuecoco, I have a more concrete idea as to what typing it could be. Fire Dragon is an option if it does evolve into more of a serpent, but that could make the starters a bit unbalanced. I mean, who doesn't want to use a dragon type starter? With the fire type, it only has like three weaknesses and a bunch of resistances, two of which being quad resistant. The other type combo I could see it ending up as is Fire Fairy. This is for a few reasons. For one, there seems to be a unanimous observation that Fuecoco is either based on an apple or a chili pepper. I think it's a pepper personally, and food based Pokemon tend to have the fairy typing. But another thing I think Fuecoco could be based on is one of two Spanish fairy tales, or both. The first being Cocoyona. This is the tale of a nun who was turned into a crocodile due to her lack of faith, but because she was still somewhat saintly, she was also given butterfly wings. The other is the tale of the Quelebre, a serpent-like dragon with bat-like wings, whose spit can turn into a magic stone that cures illnesses. 
both myths have strong cases for the dragon or the fairy typing, but what particularly makes me more drawn to the idea of a Quelebre is the whole part about its magic spit. If Fue Coco is based on a chili pepper, it evolving into the Quelebre could tie into how chili peppers and snake venom can be used for medicinal purposes. Maybe the final evolution spit could be used as some sort of medicine as well. With that said, here are two of my favorite concepts for Fue Coco's final stage that go along with this idea I had. One by Nicolette my Webernet, and the other by Bromo Jumbo. Both of these have that serpentine look I was thinking of, but Bromo's is exactly what I imagined in my head when I was thinking of this concept. It adds a little bit of a Quetzalcoatl inspiration in there as well, because Spain has a connection with Mesoamerica, though that connection is for awful reasons. Last but not least is Quaxley. I already see this guy becoming the blue-headed stepchild of the three, like Poplio before him. As unfortunate as that is, because I actually really love its design. I can definitely see water fighting for this guy. I see a very clear through line of sailor or pirate in its design, and even in its dex entry, saying that it's earnest and tidy, which reflects the idiom to run a tight ship. Though it is controversial, Spain and Portugal have a seafaring past, and that could play into this design. Here are two examples of a direction I think it could go. One, from my good friend Wesco region, called Captalin, which is actually the final evolution to the starter in his region, and is one of my favorite fake bomb water starters in general. Needless to say, I hope Quaxley's line heads in this direction. The other is another by Bromo Jumbo, which is based on ship captains and conquistadors. There's a pretty well-known theory that water starters incorporate some kind of weapon into their design, so my guess is it could be some kind of cutlass, or maybe an anchor? I guess that counts as a weapon. I could also see Water Steel as the final typing, but it is unlikely because I doubt Game Freak wants to do repeat starter types again after the whole fire fighting incident. I would say my final predictions for the typings of these three would be Grass Steel, Fire Fairy, and Water Fighting. So those are my predictions for the moment. They might change in time as we get closer to the release of the games. Maybe we'll even see the evolutions before then, but... Who knows if Game Freak will actually show us the final evolutions for these starters, considering they didn't for Galar or Hisui, so we'll see. But if you guys are excited for Gen 9 and like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And with that, I will see you guys next time.